Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. So at this time we are talking about uh, uh, um, developing Spark-based applications using Scala and uh, um, as part of this uh, topic we will see the transformations and actions for you. So as part of this uh, topic um, we will see how, how to read and uh, write to, from HDFS, joining disparate data sets, aggregating data sets, filtering data sorting and ranking. So as part of the getting started we just visited the documentation and we have seen what are the different transformations and actions that are important. So now we will actually get into the details uh, how to actually um, um, build the applications using those transformations and actions. So if you think about the life cycle um, uh, of uh, if you think about life cycle of uh, any uh, any application, typically you have to read data from HDFS or some other file system. In this case, we will take the example of HDFS or local file system. It could be S3 or it could be anything. And then we have to join uh, disparate data sets. We have to perform certain transformations such as filter data, etc. And this can be done in any order. Uh, reading is the first thing. After that, the transformations might happen in any order and we have to design um, the order of those transformations more appropriately. It is very important before developing the application that you design your uh, application uh, in the order it should execute. For example, if you want to filter the data, uh, most of the cases filtering should happen as early as possible in the life cycle rather than towards the end. So you, it's not only important to understand various transformations, but also you should be capable of designing your applications so that the data is processed in proper order. A lot of people miss that and that's where there will be a lot of performance uh, issues and uh, then people will start firefighting uh, with the temporary workarounds on that. More important aspect is you should design um, uh, more appropriately uh, so that data is uh, and data is processed uh, in a particular order uh, where the transformations are done uh, at the right place rather than uh, um, in, in, in correct sequence. So uh, to, to, to perform these tasks, we, you have to learn uh, uh, these APIs, map, flat map, filter, join, uh, count, reduce, count by key, group by key, reduce by key, aggregate by key and few more. And the life cycle of the application will be typically read the data from file system, apply row level transformations. When I say row level transformations, it could be filter, it could be map, it could be flat map or it could be map partitions also. But map partitions we will see later. For now, we will try to use filter, map, flat map. And then we will join the data sets uh, if required. If Then if you want, you can do the aggregation. You can sort the data if required and the output should be written back to the file system. So this is the typical order which you will, uh, which you will be using uh, for the life cycle of an application. And we will, we, uh, as part of uh, uh, next topic, first we will define the problem statement and we will see how these things can be done um, as part of the project. And uh, before getting into the next uh, topic, we will also see the data model of our uh, uh, application. We, we will download the data and we will see the data model of our uh, um, data set. And then uh, using the data model of the data set, we will come up with the design and then we will develop the application. That being said, uh, that's it for now. This is just an introduction about transformations and actions. And then we will see um, our data set and then we will get into defining the problem statement, design and development of our application. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content. If you like this uh, video or if you want to provide the feedback or if you have to give the rating, uh, please do so. Uh, if you, um, uh, if especially when it comes to rating, please give me the full rating. If you think otherwise, let me know. I will try to come up with the justification of the solution. Uh, once you see my response, you can decide um, uh, the rating uh, which I deserve and you can give that rating. That being said, thank you. Bye.